Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday, Microsoft released the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Dev Channel Insiders, build 23615. And one of the new features that was made available is that Copilot now can automatically open when Windows starts on widescreen devices with widescreen displays. Now, I'll leave that video down below if you would be interested for build 23615. And the reason I'm mentioning that build it be, is because two new hidden features have been spotted regarding Copilot in that latest Dev Channel build. And these have been spotted by uh, Phantom of Earth over on X once again. And um, hidden features, as many of you may know, are code that Microsoft could be testing internally. And some of them do make their way into official testing. And even some make their way down as official features to the stable version. Now, the first of two we're going to have a look at for Copilot is that um, Windows 11 could soon allow you to select um, your preferred chat provider under the Copilot settings page that I posted on earlier today. So here we have that Copilot settings page with op open Copilot when Windows starts. And here we have another section under that that is not an official feature in build 23615, which is called chat providers. Choose which chat providers you have access to. Now, just a bit of an overview regarding chat providers is that Copilot, as many of you may know, has two different chat providers. The first is Bing Chat, which uh, is for consumers like me and most viewers of this channel, and then Bing Chat Enterprise, which uh, is basically a more secure version of Copilot. So your data is protected according to Microsoft and your organization's data isn't saved unlike the consumer version of Bing Chat. So that's basically what a chat provider is. And you will and could soon be able to switch between the consumer and enterprise version of Copilot using the chat providers, which I actually think is a nice move because if you are using Copilot on a regular basis and you are kind of flipping between your work or um, your home account, um, you can then choose which uh, version of Copilot you want to use, um, the consumer version or the enterprise version. And I actually think that's a nice little move. But as mentioned, hidden feature and with hidden features, as I've mentioned before, some hidden features may never even see the light of day. So just keep that in mind. So that's the first. Now, the second one uh, is if we head over to a GIF provided by Phantom of Earth. Yeah, you can see a couple of interesting things happening here in this GIF and you can drag a file from a folder as an example and then drop it on Copilot at the bottom right of the screen and as I've mentioned previously Microsoft is testing uh, in the Insider program bringing the Copilot button to the system tray in the bottom right and moving it from the center taskbar and um, this new behavior for Copilot taskbar icon could be coming soon um, it as mentioned was spotted in the dev channel which is the ability to drag files over that Copilot button to open Copilot and then obviously you can upload an image or a file and then obviously ask Copilot um, questions regarding that image or that file and so on. So that's just two hidden features regarding Copilot and as I've mentioned on the channel quite um, um, on a few occasions is that Microsoft is giving Copilot a lot of attention and AR is basically going to be pushed into future versions of Windows um, more and more and obviously this is just Microsoft now slowly pushing more traces of Copilot into the Windows ecosystem and the Microsoft ecosystem and obviously future versions of Windows. And I thought you might be interested if you are following new features. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.